Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go, we're live. It's, it's happening. Have you ever been alive before? You ever lived, lived a day in your life? I'm living again. Uh, I went, I went outside. I just went, I just did the walk. I went outside, went on a walk, and then I came back, you know, cleaned up, did the thing. It was weird. I had a mask, and uh, I'm not going out, but it looks like I'm getting some grocery delivery today. I'm not going to go as far as go to the grocery store, so we're not going to be on Instagram Live today because this person's going to try to talk to me to see if they have at the store things and maybe they will so they're 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 in the store right now picking up picking up some stuff uh let's get right to the phones so we do that's what we're doing now looks like mark yellow fella got some messages I'm gonna listen to him. Hi. All right, yo, if uh, I got it, I'm gonna call you back now. Hello. Hello. Yeah, fellow. Hello. Hi, uh, it's the program on TV. How are you? Good. How are you? There's sound. There seems to be an echo. There's an echo. Yes. You have an effect going. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit of a. There's a little bit of verb on on my thing now. Oh, I see. Um. Here, lots of fun leprechaun facts for kids. Do you want to hear some? Yeah. All right. Leprechaun. Leprechauns are believed to live mainly in areas of woodland and forest. People have spotted them near fairy mounds. Fairy mounds are special grass-covered mounds that suddenly rise up like a tiny hill in the ground. These creatures are very fast and can move in a flash. You really need to move quietly and look hard to ever spot one. You can try looking for leprechauns when you're in a woodland area that looks rather magical. The leprechaun is often associated with handcrafts. They come from a long line of traditional shoemakers. I didn't know that. Shoemakers? Lepre- yeah, I guess, I guess so. Though leprechauns look rather funny... They have a reputation for being grumpy and grouchy. Hmm. Each leprechaun has his very own pot of gold. He guards his pot of gold very carefully because he loves gold more than anything. And then there's a picture in this article of a nice little, like, 
a little clearing in the woods where a leprechaun might be found. Um, is this just like Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page on leprechauns? No, it, it's the first thing that comes up when you search leprechaun facts. <laughs> leprechaun facts. Because I don't think there are leprechaun facts. I guess, I mean... Well, you first thing that came up on Google. Yeah, yeah, just reading Google. It's like, is is it called, is it called still facts? I guess like you, I watch a lot of like videos about like movie characters, histories or something. Right. So it's like, I guess it's about as factual as that is. Yeah, I suppose. Um, well, we're, we're already like, I mean, things that are like, are f like factual, you know, things are just things that we're tying like our own language and meaning to anyway. Yeah. Um, so, but that's a stupid argument to make because uh, there is a difference in between um, you know, talking about like a gun and reading facts about a gun and then going out into real life and seeing a gun and like getting shot by a gun and <clears throat> then going out and like can't find a leprechaun, you know. I haven't found a leprechaun. I want to. Yeah, you looking? Should I? In the woods? I mean, what else? Are you, how close are you to the woods? I mean, I could run to the, I could run to a little patch of woods. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I can't tell you the last time I went out and actually looked for a lot of time. I think when I was in first grade, it was around St. Patrick's Day, and they were like, you know, telling all the kids in our class, like, in my class, like, oh, look, at, keep your eye out for the leprechaun. There's a leprechaun in the school. And I remember looking out the window and, like, looking out into the grass. And for a split second, I think I tricked my mind into thinking I saw, like, a leprechaun that ran off into the distance. Um, but m maybe I did see one, you know? It's, why do we have all these, like, weird characters that we tell kids to see? We're just trying to, like, instill magic in children or something, but do they get, like, confused with all these characters? Yeah. And we're like, they're real characters. They're real. Well, I think that... Um, you know, adults in society in the last few generations have just been passing down this, like, folklore <clears throat> that has only gotten more and more watered down and, like, uh, more became more and more of, a, like, a corporate thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and we kind of lost the thread of where it even began in the first place. So now we just have, like, this weird, you know, guy wearing green on a cereal box and we think there's something like vaguely uh, spiritual about it or something, you know? Yeah, um, is, is that guy still but, there? <laughs> I, lucky? Yeah, is he still on the box? I They got rid of a lot of the characters for the serial. Yeah, I think they made him look pretty fucked up now. Let me see, Lucky, Charmed. Look, looking at the internet with y'all Le Leprechaun 2020. Let's see how he's holding up. Um... And I urge anyone listening at home to look up Lucky Charms Le Leprechaun 2020. He looks pretty much the same. Uh, oh, he looks kind of weird now. I don't like it, actually. They mixed him up a little bit. Why can't they just keep him the same? Um, okay, I found I found the version I'm familiar with, a picture of him from probably the mid-2000s. I want to go get some Lucky Charms. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, you, 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 the, what? You going for the the um the uh, I'm uh, I'm 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 doing Instacart at the same time as the program today because like I actually like got it going and then I said I was gonna go at five o'clock and then I was like, am I gonna go later or am I gonna do Instacart and the program at the same time? So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, you're ordering Instacart? Like they're in the store right now and they're shopping. And they don't have, I wanted ding-dongs, but they don't have ding-dongs. You have to listen for a knock? I want to, I want to know, like, a ding-dong, like, cakes. You want a ding-dong cake? Yeah, I want a ding-dongs. You know ding-dongs? Oh, like the little, like, oh, like little, like, tasty treats, little, little pre-packaged little cakey things. Yeah, but they're, they're sold out of ding-dongs. Throw it out of ding dong. Well, you don't need that anyway. I'm you getting know, uh, instead. I'm getting little Debbie Swiss rolls. It's just a uh, you want a little treat for yourself. Yeah. I don't know. That's not, that's not very healthy. 
it's not very healthy, but I'm just, I'm, I don't need to be that healthy. I'm just trying to um, keep myself, uh, like, placated, you know? Yeah. Whenever I go shopping, I don't really get myself any, like, treaty things. And I wish I, I wish I do that, would do that more often, because then I get home and I'm depressed that I don't have a little, like, tasty treat. I just have all this healthy food. I got a lot of treats this time around because I'm uh, going to um, mm, just like try to try to just stuff my face and to keep me uh, uh, from being, uh, you know, dread, keep the dread away. <laughs> well, you know what you should do? Like, um, just because you're probably going to get some like pent up energy. Uh, do you do any type of, like, any type of exercise stuff? Yeah, I, I did a lot of exercises today. Uh, today, I actually, I actually went for a walk. Oh, there you go. Which was oh, weird. Outside. I put on a mask. I put on a big mask and I covered my whole face and I realized I was wearing sunglasses and a hat and a mask. So, I would probably, I mean, maybe you look scary, but that's how it is in the world now. Nobody else was wearing the masks, though. The other walkers, they weren't wearing the masks. I had a big mask on. I think uh, if you're outside and you're not too close to people, I think it's okay. But if you're going inside like a store or something, you should probably have one. I think you should just have one anyway. Yeah. So. But um, I was going to say, um, well, that's good. How, how to feel to get <clears throat> get outside for the first time? Scary. Scary. I'm yeah. like, this is it. I'm getting it right now or something. Do you think you're going to feel the lingering? Of, well, it's impossible to tell when this is going to be over, but. I, f um, I feel like I'm never going to be the same again. I'm going to be uh, afraid to go out. Yeah. Um, yeah, t I don't... Uh, I don't think it's truly rattled me yet in that type of way. But um, I guess... Uh, I guess it could happen. Uh, yeah, I um, am going... Uh, I, I also did a lot of exercises. I did um, some lifts i had a can i found the heaviest can and did some like weight lifting <laughs> there you go that's pretty good yeah i don't um, have I a barbell to... maybe i should have got I'm... you know so i'm tempted to go on a run that's kind of what i want to do right now yeah but, uh, i don't know staying inside also sounds nice it would be the first time i've um the first day where i haven't like been the only thing I did today was went and got myself a big pile of groceries and oh yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of a little bit more relaxed right now. Uh -huh. I got um, I got my stimulus thing. Oh, you got it? Yeah. What? Twelve hundred, huh? Yep. Is it is it like I, how that how how'd that work? I don't know. It just showed up in my account. You're just looking at your bank account because you filed taxes already. Yep. And then it just says twelve hundred dollars in there. Yep, IRS, and then a bunch of, like, letters and numbers, some code. Is it, yeah. uh, um, like 1,200 even? Yeah, 1,200 even. Wow. I thought maybe it was yeah. going to be, um, taxed or something crazy. Mm, no. So, yeah, now it's time to, uh, you know, get, get, order some, uh, iguanas. Yeah, and, uh, what are you gonna do? You gonna you can go buy some, some uh, go get some diamonds. Diamonds, yeah. Or like a diamond. A diamond. Hire some dancers. Yeah. Uh, get a get a little. I gotta get a costume of some sort. Um, kangaroo, co a, a Spider-Man costume. You know how you always have like a certain crazy person downtown. You know in your city, like, hey, there's that guy, he's, like, dressed up like Jesus all the time. Yeah. Um, I want to be that kind of guy in this world. Jesus? In the world, that's normal. Yeah, we had a Philly Jesus for a little while. Did he have a robe? Hmm? He have a robe or what? Because a beard, I mean, like, just, like, long hair and a beard, that's a pretty standard, like, street person clothes. What's a, what, oh, that's a standard street person role? Like, well, just, like, Long hair and a beard. Oh no, but this, no, no. This guy like had the robe, had like the Jesus hair, mm -hmm. had uh, like a cross he'd carry around with him. Oh okay. Yeah, he took it to another uh, level. He got arrested at a uh, Apple store. Why? 
uh, I don't know, but he um, he put online after it happened uh, that he like linked the article on his page, and then he did his caption was just like, "I forgive them." <laughs> Oh, he was like going in there and preaching, or is he? <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. I have no idea. But he—he's like a religious fanatic. This guy. Yeah, and apparently, I my friends said they like. I had knew some facts about him before. He went down the Philly Jesus uh, route. Um, he uh, apparently was like a heroin addict or something. Yeah, I think if you if you Google Philly Jesus, I think some stuff comes up. <laughs> Did you ever see him? I haven't I haven't seen him. I think I've seen him a few times since all of this. Where after he's dropped to the Jesus Jesus thing. What's he do, What's he look like now? Just he, I think he has the long hair still, but he just like kind of dresses hippie-ish. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a bunch of photos of him. Oh my god. He. No, he's just a hippie, huh? Apparently he sued the city at one point. For what? Yeah, let me, uh... Internet, the internet, looking at the internet with y'all, fellow. Looking at the internet with me. Yeah. Oh, over at the arrest of the Apple store. Uh, oh, yeah. Interesting. I wonder what it was for. The man known as Philly Jesus is suing the city and police over a December incident at Christmas Village. Oh, this is another incident where he claims his First Amendment rights were violated. Um, they arrested him uh, following a complaint. Oh, never mind. My, my internet's getting all weird. But yeah, Philly Jesus. Fun, fun stuff. Yeah. Um, Michael Grant, I guess that's his name. Huh. Michael Grant, Philly Jesus. Philly Jesus. Did he say he's Je Philly Jesus? What's that? Did he say that his name was Philly Jesus? He's like, I'm Philly Jesus. Or that I was think, I think he would. I think, yeah, I think he would, um, I think he played into it, yeah. Yeah. There was somebody here in town, and they called themselves One Like Moses, they said. They call themselves one like Moses. Yeah, he's like like Moses. He always said that the um the world or that the, that that Mount Rainier was gonna explode. He said that what? Oh, he thinks it's gonna explode. Yeah, which it probably will. That's what a big thing everybody was always saying that because we're on like, you know, have you heard of Mount St. Helens? Mhm. Mm you know about that? Yeah. When did that erupt? Uh, in the eight, early 80s. How bad was that when that happened? I mean, the whole thing blew up, but that's like everybody knows about that. That's not just like Washington people know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was like, it was like a volcano and it exploded. And I don't, I don't know if anybody got killed, but there was definitely like ash. Like, it takes like maybe like three hours to drive there from here. And there was apparently ash around this part of the world, or this part of the state, even so, like it ashed the whole state or something. Oh, geez. Yeah. So people didn't die from it. I think I think only a few people who were like maybe like on on the mountain when it happened died, but I don't I don't think a lot of people died, but it was a big deal. I don't know why it was so bad, but I just it was like a bad thing for people. Gotcha. Well, I guess the whole thing, maybe it was really scary too, but so now everybody's like, we're on like the fault line and the, 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 the fire, the, is it the ring of fire? I don't know what you call it, but like something like the volcanoes, like the whole, whole cascade mountain range is like ready to explode. Oh yeah. I'm, I, I keep thinking like, what if we just get like hit by another global disaster in the midst of this one. Like, there's yeah. No reason why, there's no reason why it's, it's like the world's going to take a break just because we have this going on, you know? Yeah, it, it kind of seems like we're going to be um, immune to anything else and, or like even like falling down the stairs or something, you know? Like, yeah, you still have to keep, the people have to still keep an eye out for other things. Yeah, so don't fall down the stairs and like you can like, um... Yeah, that's number one. Yeah. There's, uh, 
Yeah, it's possible to fall on the stairs still. It's still possible like, for anything else to happen. Uh, I don't know. If no, like nobody's like looting, which is good. But um, none of that's happening. Like total collapse. But then there's gonna be. I guess we're getting all this money now. This is gonna be weird. Everybody's got the money. Like some people won't ever have that. I mean, everybody's like trying to get this money to live. It's like everybody gets the money. Like you, people who are. It's like it's just like blanket. Even if you have a lot of money or something. Oh yeah, I mean. But what does it really mean? We just get like these numbers that appear in our account. Like, is it really tied to anything tangible? Um, yeah. I don't know if it really is anymore. Um, I'm not smart enough to elaborate on it more than that. I mean, I know what you mean. You know, it's, it's like money has seemed like this like kind of video game thing to me. Yeah. Like for a long time. I don't know. I, I did grow up playing like, ever played the game Earthbound? I've never played it, but I've heard about it. Well, in that game, you get, like, actual money, and then you get, like, a card. You get this ATM card, and I guess it's supposed to be based on reality, but then it seems like it flipped, and now reality is based on it. So you're getting this money, and it's getting in, in, in this thing, and then it just feels like a crazy game. It's felt like this crazy game to me for a long time. That sounds fun. And then you get things, and now it's like they're sending it to you, and then it really is, like, kind of... I, I was always talking about what is money even before this whole thing went down. I was like... Mm -hmm. um, like gonna go to uh, like the movie, the whole movies things. Right? Was I talking about you this yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. And it's or like not yesterday, but one of these days. Yeah. It's like where does all this money come from? And then like now they're giving you money, and they're like, oh, you you need money? Like, uh oh, you're in trouble. Here's here's money. And then now oh, yeah, it, and then, then then what? It's like where does this where do, where is all this money coming from? And if they could give it all to us now, it's like why didn't they give it to us before? And then, and then we're gonna go buy, buy the same things as before. Or now, now what? You know? Yeah. Well, I think the goal now for our, um, you know, evil overlords is to keep us all in line uh, at least enough so that we don't go wreak havoc. Yeah. And, um, this might not be the end of the checks. Apparently, other countries are being much more uh, generous with their aid. Canada is getting two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're probably not, we're not getting that for sure. That's like almost as much as my full-time job. Right. Like, um, that's very nice. Yeah. So they're getting they're getting two thousand dollars a month, and they got it like immediately. I'm I'm kind of surprised that you got. It. I don't know if I got it. I haven't looked at you know my bank in a while. But that'll yeah, be you should check. You should yeah. Check. It'll it'll at least even out my um uh Instacart. Did you do more taxes? Uh, did you do your taxes this year? I did my taxes. I did them like pretty fast. Good. So I already got yeah, that. It's, it's not that comp I don't know why people like put it off so long. It's not that hard. Yeah, especially with the internet, it's just like filling out the forms. But it is annoying, at least. Well, I'm going to get out the door for a run, but can I wrap this up with more uh, leprechaun facts? Yeah. Or not, another one before yeah. I go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, hello? Oh, leprechaun facts? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Um, oh, okay. Hold on. Leprechaun means small body. Leprechaun is believed to be a variation of the middle Irish word Luckerpan. Luckerpan. Huh. Sometimes leprechauns are red. Although the little Irishmen are now anonymous with the color green, they weren't always. Early accounts of leprechauns describe them as wearing red and sporting a variety of hats, often three cornered. Huh. All right, last one. Um, leprechauns are the bankers and the cobblers of the fairy world. Leprechauns are known for their money, and there's apparently a lot of it in the cobbling business. Since they spend most of their time alone, the tiny green men pour all their energy into crafting shoes. A gun with a shoes, I didn't know this. They're said to always have a hammer and shoe in hand. 
According to legend, you can hear them coming by the telltale tapping sound they make. While some stories attribute the leprechauns' wealth to the fine shoes they make, others say that they protect the treasure of the entire fairy world. One tale says leprechauns act like bankers to make sure the frivolous fairies don't spend all their gems at once. Huh. Bankers. Yeah. Of the fairy world. Well, there you go. Yeah, they want the gold. Uh, I guess even leprechauns and fairies need money. Yeah, it seems that way. Like, I want to buy, like, you know, I guess Tinkerbell or whatever has got a, a little dress. It's like, you gotta, you can't just make, you can't just make that dress. I don't remember seeing any leprechauns in, uh, in, uh, Peter Pan. Yeah, yeah, but like, the, but, so, she, she's got the dress and you can't just like, make that dress yourself, you just go buy the dress, you gotta go buy it. That's true. So then, um, then you're, you're um, Then yeah. you're, uh, then you, yeah, yeah. Oh, what if Peter Pan, wait, was Peter Pan a leprechaun? I think Peter Pan was from the regular world, but he was, I mean, he, he he's, like he's kind of dressed like, kind of like a leprechaun. He's green, he's wearing green. He was. Peter. I think he's like, Br I think he's like a British kid, though. He's like from, from the real world or whatever. Was Peter Pan a leprechaun. Let's see if anyone else is talking about this. <laughs> this is Peter. Not seeing... Nothing's coming up. Peter Pan was an angel that held kids' hands. Oh, wait. Okay. Kids were dead. Huh. Oh, wow. That's a theory. Peter Pan was an angel that held kids' hands when they were on their way to heaven. That's why they never grew up, because they were dead. Wow, that's, uh, that's uh, quite the theory. Yeah, uh, that's weird. Uh, Peter let's, uh, Pan versus Leprechaun. I tried to get three eggs, three things of eggs from the place, and they're only, they have store limits of only two eggs at a time. The oh, thing. You can only, oh, they're probably trying to like keep so everyone has an, like a, uh, the ability to get enough, you know. Yeah, I guess eggs are going pretty fast. Oh, all right. I'm gonna try to get out the door for a run. All right, bye. All right, bye. -bye. I'm uh, I'm watching this. Watching this Instacart thing as we uh, go along. I guess I'm gonna call Freddy. Or do we check all the messages? I think we got Mark messages. Both of these Mark messages. Call Freddy. Call Grandma. Here's Mark. Hi. I was wondering about that stimulus check. I wonder if you're gonna get it or I heard people who's getting it. Get it. Or what are we do to get it? I guess I'll call you later. Bye. Yeah, stimulus. Mark's gonna get more money than he usually has. It's gonna getting stimulated by the government for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. All right, Mark, I'm going to call you now. Oh, they're about to get to the soap.
on the Instacart. Now I'm going to see if they're going to um, get the soap. This is the moment of truth. It's like how much soap is left at the stores. Oh. Hello. Hey, Mark. Hey. It's the program. We're on TV. How are you? Oh, pretty good. What are you doing? I'm uh, doing this. I'm doing the, 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 the grocery delivery and... Um, Hello, Rebecca. Oh. I'm doing grocery thing. Yeah. And um, I doing this at the same time. You, what are you doing? I was just sitting around doing nothing. Did you get your check? You said you want to know about the stimulus checks, huh? Yeah, I'm wondering about that. Is it just for the people that lost their jobs or what? Yeah, no, no, it's for everybody. That's what I think. I'm, I think no matter what's going on, you just, you just get it. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, that would be good, huh? Uh, I... I, could, I could use the money sparingly and make it last. Yeah. Well, somebody, the check. somebody in Philadelphia, they already got it. Oh. Huh. Um, they, they, uh, Oh, uh, there, the uh, there no, yeah, no soap. There's no soap at the stores. No soap at the stores. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no soap. Have you been to Safeway? Uh, the um, I haven't been to Safeway, but they're they're completely out of hand soap at the grocery store right now. I'm talking to them they on the thing. Soap at the Safeway. Um, okay, yeah, there, there's soap at Safeway? Yeah. What kind of soap? All sorts of soap. Disinfectant, back, uh, antibacterial. All of it, huh? All that other stuff. Wow. Because I guess... Non-dishwashing liquid. Um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You know, you don't have like any way to look at your bank account from home, so you don't know if you're gonna get your uh, 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 mm, your checks. You have to get it in the mail. I don't think it goes to my payee. I think it goes directly to me. Yeah, you're gonna have to get it in the mail. I think everybody's yeah. getting them. I, I'm, I don't know if I got mine yet. I haven't looked at my bank account, but somebody in Philadelphia, they already got it, so they're going they're going out. It's actually happening. Oh. Which I'm kind of surprised, I guess. <laughs> it's like kind of weird, but getting, getting, getting the money in the mail. It's going to be $1,200, I guess. That's what Yellowfellow got. Wow, that's quite a bit chunk of change there. Yeah, so it's going to be between the two of you. You both get it, I think. Well, when we get it, if we get it, we should use it sparingly and let it, and make it last. Oh yeah, that's the. I think that's the order. Yeah. I think you're gonna be you're gonna be getting. It's only a one-time thing. Have you uh, uh, answered any calls besides mine? Yeah. Um, what about Ginsu? Not today. Oh. Did 
Did you talk to uh, Freddie? Um, not yet. I was going to call him probably next. Oh, I see. Um, well, how's Rebecca? Are you going to get... We bought three pizzas today. We bought groceries and we got three pizzas for $10. You went to the store today? Yeah. On the bus? Yep, on the dial lift. And uh, did you uh, wear a mask? No. Did, was it, what, is everybody else wearing a mask? You're supposed to wear a mask now. Everybody on the bus wasn't wearing a mask. Oh, there was, there was more than one person on the bus? Yeah, two other people. Oh, nobody had masks. Huh? What about the driver? He didn't wear a mask either. Wow, I thought everybody was going to wear masks. I went out for a walk today. It was the first time I went out and I, I wore a mask. Oh. But you just, they just took you to the Safeway? Yeah, we went to Safeway and got our groceries and came home. Yeah. How's the store? Is it weird? Well, the aisle that holds the, you know, the area where the Tylenol is? Yeah. Someone bought it all out. Yeah, no Tylenol, huh? No Tylenol. That's pretty wild. And someone bought all the, the, uh, some of the meat parts, you know, like the patties are all gone and stuff. Yeah, no hamburger patties, huh? You're gonna go for those? Then we had to get ground beef instead of patties. Yeah, you usually get patties? We usually get patties. No patties, huh? No patties and no town hall. That's pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Crazy world. Um, yeah, it's like, where is all that stuff? We got the last toilet paper. Oh yeah, they had no toilet paper there? One. Wow, what, what, how much did you get? Just, uh, I think 12 rolls. Yeah, that's kind of a score though, that you got it at all. Yeah. Were they only letting one person have it at a time? You can, you know, the, you can get it, you can buy, if you're gonna pay for it, you can buy it all out. It was just sitting on the shelf, huh? They weren't handing them out one at a time? Nope. Wow, well, you got like, that's pretty lucky because most places, they just don't have it at all. Yeah, well, there was one sitting on the corner there, and I said, grab it. <laughs> yeah. You got it fast, huh? I'm surprised with other people walking by it and didn't grab it. Everybody's yeah. going for that toilet paper so hard right now. Yeah. And the Tylenol was all uh, wiped out. Yeah, you need to get more Tylenol, huh? Yeah. They're out of, looks like they're out of, um, uh, Sriracha. What's that? What, what's Sriracha? Yeah. Sriracha is like a, um, hot sauce. Oh. Like, like Asian hot sauce. Oh, we didn't buy any of that. Yeah, they, they don't have any uh, at, at the store. They're sold out of that stuff. I guess they're selling a hot sauce. They're selling out of some weird things. I didn't see none of that. Yeah. Um... You're watching TV, you're just sitting there, you're not doing anything? Just sitting here on the bed, uh, relaxing and talking to you. Yeah. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna queue up this, I'm gonna queue up this thing where we record Message to the Future, okay? Okay. Say, Bird, and say hi to the future, and then I'll turn this off. Say, what do you have to say to the future, Bird? Yo, what up, KW? All right, bye, future. Hey, we only got 10 seconds. All right, I'm moving this thing down. And press record, he goes, hey, future, it's us of the past. Well, you gotta get, 
you're you're your own man. You got to get what you got to get at the store because in the future it's not might might not be there. Yeah, things are running out in the world. Um, it's uh, yeah, Wednesday, and I'm doing the shopping on here. I'm the li- online shopping. Are you having pizza? No pizza. I'm eating food at home. Mm. All right, bye, future. What'd you eat for lunch? Anything? Oh, we had sandwiches, cheese sandwiches. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more calls. Mark, thanks for talking to us. Keep calling, leaving messages, okay? I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, here we go. Let's call Freddie, the producer. Sorry, Doubler, I can't move forward right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You can call us back. You have about 20 minutes to see if you make it here today. Uh, All right, bye. All right, here, it's called Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. What have you been doing? I'm at my house. Yeah? Now leave the house. Under the... Okay. Under the hair. No, you talk to him. Why? Because you said you want to talk to him. I want to talk to him? Yeah. I do? Yeah, you, you want to talk to me? I'm talking. Hi. Yeah, talk to him. You said you want to... You miss him, you said. I miss you. I miss you, Grandma. I can't. Yeah, nobody can leave the house. You can come over. I got it. We got it. The government says that we're not supposed to go visit people, especially people. Uh, I don't understand why you can come over. The, the 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 government told everybody not to come over, especially for um your own uh, people who are in the danger in danger of getting sick from the virus, like you are. There's a, a there's a virus in the world. It's new. It just came out. Maybe or they it started happening in about March, and in China it spread, and now everybody's got it. Or it's going around the world, and we gotta be careful. Nobody can leave the house. Everybody in the whole world is inside the house, and they're even sending money to people because lots of people lost their jobs. Places are closed down. The movie theater. Why? The movie theater and the parks are closed down. It's because there's a, 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 a con- very contagious virus. It's like a plague. I don't know what. There's a plague, basically. It's a virus, a really awful virus going around the world. Around the world, huh? Yeah, so everybody can't leave the house. You're not supposed to go outside your house unless you have to because awful. it's awful. It's, it's, it's really bad. The whole world is in trouble right now. Yeah. Uh, so where I can see you? you? We don't know. Nobody knows. There's a. It's a world crisis, Grandma. Wait. So you cannot come here, huh? Yeah, you can't go. You can't leave your house. You're not supposed to leave your own house, and you, you, they say don't even visit your own family. That's what the government said. Oh, that's the government said. Yeah. Oh, I see. Government says don't leave the house. I yeah, the government, they're cracking down. It's a weird, it's like a weird state right now of, of not being able to leave the house. Okay. Okay, then this is to Andrew, okay? Okay, were well, you taking care of yourself, though? 
Yeah, I'm going to do telephones under them. Hey, I'm Okay, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing uh, the, the delivery right now. I'm talking to this person that is shopping for me. Oh, yeah, who's shopping for you? Uh, mahogany. <laughs> mahogany? Yeah, their name is Mahogany, and then they're sending me stuff. They're out. They're completely out of hand soap at the stores. Oh yeah? Yeah. No soap. Um, I went to the dollar store because I wanted to get a pump bottle, but I didn't want the soap. This was like two months ago, and I ended up just pouring the, pouring the soap down the drain. Because I was like, I want to use that pump. I, I bought it for the squeeze bottle and not for the, uh, the soap itself, you know? Yeah. And now... Now I wish I would have kept that soap. I guess I didn't know it. I didn't know. Always keep your soap. Well, who would have thought that soap was going to be a hot item? You still have got that soap? Like you have a lot of soap at the house? Yeah. Cause it's 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 hard to come by. Is that right? Yeah, soap is is uh, scarce right now. Hmm. You you have that that whole like bottle? Yeah. You gotta hold on to that. It's 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 pretty wild time. What are you doing? Making tacos. Where are you putting them? Um, I got carne from Winco a couple days ago. Yeah, you went to Winco a couple of days ago. Yeah. How often do you go to the store? Once a week. Once a week, yeah. Same as always. And then would you? How was Winco? Busy. It was busy? I know, not, not too bad. Like, less than normal? I think so, yeah. Uh, uh, did you have a mask? You don't have a mask still? I don't know, I wear a mask. You did? Yeah, I don't. I only don't wear a mask if I go to work. Uh, Lowe's. Where did you get a mask? What kind of mask is it? That's like a painter's mask. For like construction. Where'd you get it? From mom. Oh yeah, yeah, the same one. Are you washing it? No, I leave it in the car. I probably get cold, like bleach in the car. Just in the sun? Bleach. You just put it in the sun? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better than nothing. Um, is everybody wearing masks or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you see anything crazy? How about toilet paper? You look at toilet paper? So, uh, toilet paper. They, they don't have it at the store? Did you uh, look? I think Winco probably has it. Did you look? I didn't look. Yeah, you got enough toilet paper. This has been out for months, or for a week. How about paper towels? They have paper towels, but they don't have toilet paper. Yeah. That was a, did you get paper towels? Because I remember the last time we went out, that was like, right? I mean, maybe we shouldn't have even, even gone out that one day. Yeah, that was probably the last time we could go out safely. Yeah, well, it's not even that. I mean, that, that, that time was even unsafe. Like, we were pushing it. That was the first week. Yeah. Yeah, we're not supposed to have done that. I, I, I really jumped down, but I went on a walk today. I left the yeah. house, huh? What? I went on a walk. Oh yeah? It was, uh, it was scary. Oh yeah? There was nobody around though, but I did wear, I, I put a t-shirt on my face. I just like wrapped a t-shirt around my face and did the walk. So I was out there. Yeah. Um, hopefully I didn't pick it up all from the streets. I didn't see too many people though. I walked around the government. The government. I didn't see anybody out there. Did you get your your check? People are getting the stimulus checks. Um, no. Yeah, I don't know if I got mine. Yeah, I gotta look. But people are getting it. Somebody, somebody got it. Somebody I'm talking to in Philadelphia got it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's happening. People are getting them. That's crazy. 
I think you'll get one, and maybe Grandma will get one too. Grandma gonna get one? I think you're both gonna get them, yeah. Hmm. If you paid your ta you've been paying your taxes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then you get the. I think you're gonna get them. Huh. What what kind of is it? Hard tacos? Soft tacos? Street tacos. Street tacos? And you can give them to grandma? What? You're gonna give some to grandma? Yeah. Yeah. Last time I went out it wasn't springtime and now it's springtime and all the trees are bloom. All the what? The trees are bloom. The flowers, the flower trees. They've been bloom for a while. Oh yeah? When yeah. I saw they just started bloom. Oh yeah? Yeah. I haven't seen them bloom yet, I think. That's crazy. Yeah, so now I saw them. All right. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. All right. I guess we'll call Mr. Ginsu. Hello. Yep, yep. Mr. Gintz, it's program on TV. How are you? Um, just got them painting. What, the rental house? Yep. What color? I don't know. You don't know what color? Didn't you just spend like a lot of time painting? Yeah, but I still can't remember. Wow. Well, uh, how'd it go? You tired? Pardon? You tired from painting? I'm tired from working all day. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty beat now. I'm just kind of bushed. I'm ready to sit down smoking weed. Yeah, you paint the whole outside of the house? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. What? How do you not, how, how do you, how can you not know? I'm not telling you. Oh, okay. You have very... Uh, um, the answer was, you want me to say red or blue or something so that you can look for something red or blue. You think I'm going to go look for your house right now? I'm going to leave my house and you will. I'm going to go down there and look because I'm, cause, and then I'm like, oh, there's a blue house. How many houses are there and how many things are there? I don't even know where you are and I haven't left the house in like two weeks, so. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going out. I'm not getting out of the house. I'm I'm not going anywhere. Somebody else might. Yeah. One of your friends. Yeah, some of you a viewer is gonna go find you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go find your rental property and then find you. Um Well, did you finish or you gotta do more painting later? I'm done for now. Yeah, is it all is it all done though? Yeah, it's all done. I'm done for now. Yeah, okay. Is that the same Next house time, with the pocket? Is it the same house with the pocket doors? I did not. I still got a rip a fixed one and the other one's broken. Mm-hmm. So you gotta fix that one too or well, I don't know. Why don't you just uh, just like open or like or have the, the pocket doors opened up and then just like seal the hole so then it's just like an open door with no door instead of a door you know no i just have to tear the wall apart yeah why don't you just the, just cover it up the hinges that the pocket door fucking slide on and uh, or the track fix the track and the hinge that it fucking hooks to the track and then fucking put it all back together just cover it up and then spackle it Spackle it shut, and then they won't even know there's a door there. They just think it's going to be an entryway. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Might as well just install a door. Yeah, install a door. Wouldn't that be easier than dealing with a pocket door? Yep. So, yeah, why don't you do that? Dumbasses. Yeah. I mean, well, well, those pocket doors are popular in, like, the 70s or something, though, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. They work okay when they're new. I'm not sure if this one ever worked okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's lo the track is loose. Yeah, that seems real finicky with the track that I would always get out because I, yeah. It's like shower doors or something. I had a shower door. It was awful. I think I, I took it out and I put in the, just the curtain. Yeah. Even on my rental place, yeah, they never said anything. There. Unless you're going to get a brand new door with a new track. No, at my last place, they had a shower door. I, I removed the door and I, I uh, put a curtain in. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, those things, that are, they're on the wheels. Those things are not, are, they're, they're bad news. Those are bad news. Yep, they are. Yeah. Um, well, what do you do? You're back at home now? That's a really good idea. I should yank that fucker out of the house and put a curtain in. Yeah, just put a curtain there. No. You don't need that other stuff. I, I will. Good. Next time I get a champ. <laughs> Um, were well, you back home now? Some dyers, slow churned, some kind of chocolate ice cream. You got chocolate ice cream? A drumstick, I guess. You got that? A drumstick ice cream, yeah. You bought, you went to the, right you, now. did you go to the store? No. Just a gas station? Or? Huh? It was in my big rear. Oh, you already had it, huh? Yeah. From before. Whoa, yeah. indulgent, huh? Ice cream. Yep, yep. Yeah. I haven't had ice cream in a long time. Well, how long has it been in the freezer? A week. Yeah, that's good. I'm getting some ice cream. I'm doing, I'm going to get grocery delivery to my home. Roku? Grocery delivery. Oh. Um, yep, yep. So they're gonna, they're, they're, they're gonna ship me the, or they're gonna give me the deliveries. Huh. Uh, what the hell? huh? What the hell? Maybe I ought to do that instead of tell my mom, tell my mom, man, just hook up with the delivery service. Yeah, get the delivery service. Oh, yeah, tell your your mom to get the delivery service. Yeah. Seems like that would work out for her. Maybe. Hopefully. It'd be better than me doing it. <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, I think you could you could do that. That's what a lot of people are doing, especially uh, the you know older people. Yeah, you know, it's hard to say though. My mom's like your mom. Yeah, she's just going out, still doing it. People aren't aren't aren't, aren't too worried about the whole thing, but I think they should be. I, I went out today. I had a mask. I put on a big mask to, to go for a walk. And you put your mask on. And you went for a walk. Yeah, well, I just wrapped like a t-shirt around my face. But I left the house. It was the first time I left the house in like almost two weeks. So, and I went outside. I went to the store. I mean, after the store, I just went to the to the around the corner. I walked around the block. It was weird. It was weird being outside. Yep, yep. You don't really need the mask unless you're walking up next to people. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to wear the mask anyway, just because uh, I was outside. I didn't. I haven't been going outside at all, so I just thought maybe the mask would be a good idea. If you're walking next to people. Yeah, I wasn't walking next to people, but I, I had it anyway. I get, you think it could hurt? Maybe it could. You're breathing yourself stuff. You got a mask? I got something. You got you got to have your mask for your other job, right? For your for your where you go to work, you got to wear a mask there, right? Yep. Everybody's got the masks there. Yep. Matching masks. They give you. They hand them out, or you have to get your own. They hand them out. Oh, that's good. How's that place going? It seems like that place would be not good right now. Uh, well, it's it's okay. I'm happy. Huh? 
can't make prisoners happy. Yeah. You can't, well, why, why would they be happy? They, they're in yeah, prison. Got something to bitch about. Yeah, well, you're... Can't go anywhere. I kind of feel like, I mean, yeah, it's like the whole world's in, in, in a prison in a way, but not as, not as bad. Well, we only got about two minutes left today. I see, I see. Yeah. Um, yep, I don't know what to tell you, except for now I've been eating this ice cream, I'm cold. Yeah, you still got the heat on in your house? It's on, but not very hot. Yeah. I have to turn it up to 70. Ice cream is cold. Because I'm fucking freezing my ass off. Let me see. Uh, uh, 65, 66 degrees. Don't turn it up to 70. <laughs> yeah, you like that. It's going to be hot house. Hopefully. Hopefully it's hotter than fucking I am. Cause God damn, I am cold ass motherfucker. I know I'm going to quit eating this ice cream. <laughs> How many more? How many more ice creams do you got? Half gallon. Oh, that's a lot of ice cream. You gotta eat something hot next. Get some. Go get some coffee. Go get some coffee. That was your soft top. I can make some coffee, but I don't want to. I'm just whenever I'll get hot whenever I whenever it gets to seventy. All right. Well, the show's over. I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll smoke a little bit of weed. All right, keep calling leave some messages. Danny going for a walk with his t-shirt over his face, catching COVID. I, COVID. Yeah, that's my favorite flavor. All right, bye. All right, take it easy. Made it. Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday. We're on TCTV channel 22 and check it out. Yeah, why do you should be on dot com? 360-3634, call me a message, get on TV. Yeah. 1098 number three, check it out. Yeah. Fun singer, this is a good song, thank you. TCTV. La Baby, Jordi, Fabo, Scram, Gram, Subscribe, Con, John, Whipster, Thurston, Canada, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, watch them, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Sure. Bye.